Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. Did you did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while, he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? Uh. I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme. But actually, when I'm talking with Lavi Set, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. <laughs> I could be Eleanor's brother. Oh dear. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Laffy said. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all right. talk. Don't believe her. <laughs> it seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. <laughs> Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick, which one will the Muppet pick? What? How about an older brother instead? Hello. The people of South Gand originally worshipped Amenuch, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea. Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Amenuch. But the Abbey worships in Nominat, don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in South Gand is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Amenoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? <laughs> Okay, so that's where I was coming down. We already looked around those. Let's check down here. Anchovy. What does it mean to become an adult? Uh. <laughs> the eternal question of youth. <coughs> Have you ever heard of the ceremony of adulthood? It's a yearly tradition on this island. If I remember right, oh, it's totally it. wild. Everyone throws bananas and porringes at each other. Traditionally, yes, but things have changed over the years. Bananas and porringes are a thing of the past. 
People are always reaching for bigger and better things, right? In this case, it's watermelons. Whole watermelons. You're throwing watermelons? That's gotta hurt. Trust me, I know. But watermelons are the least of our worries. Recently, people have started flinging coconuts. Coconuts? Oh dear. Those things are as hard as rocks! <laughs> Trust me, I know. Like getting hit with a brick. Now, every year, there are some kids who never make it to adulthood. You don't mean they... Yeah, I've kept putting it off myself, but it looks like this <clears throat> year, I've got no choice but to participate. That's crazy. It's far too dangerous. And more importantly, how does it make someone an adult? There are ancient traditions that say overcoming danger marks a child's coming of age. Some people still cling to the old ways. You hit the nail on the head. There are lots of old folks that sit around complaining how weak as darn kids are. What hypocrites. Back then, they used bananas and watermelons. They even cracked the watermelons ahead of time. I don't think cracking a coconut would help much either. So that's why you're standing about looking blue. I'm so ashamed of myself for being scared. If you don't want to do the ceremony, why not just skip it? I'd love to, but I don't really have a choice. I wouldn't be able to show my face around here if I chickened out. Having the courage to say no to something you don't feel is right. Isn't that the true mark of an adult? Wait, you're right! <laughs> now I can finally become an adult! Oh yeah! Look how grown up I am! <laughs> oh jeez. And getting carried away with yourself and acting the fool is the true mark of image. Sorry. You're right. Okay, so that's the way out of town. Oh, look, more of the penguins. There, again over here. Balance bar. Tarnished silver. Boots, Pricklebore, Curator. Hey, this doll, it looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's Wait, Empyrean really? Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, <coughs> but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> oh. Uh, Wait, that oh. sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? <laughs> so, shopkeep, where'd you see her? 
I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Ugh. Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> uh, that was the wrong button again. Uh... Take a look at this. Come on. Eh, eh. Oh, come on. Okay, well, we got the new item. Show him how I. Oh, no. This is the trick of the light. This is McClear Beach. Beautiful waters. So this is Mockler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Cute shoes. I'll end this quickly. <laughs> Okay, 
Tripoli. Cat's chest. I probably don't have enough filler. Nope. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Laffy said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh, oh dear. no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with you. Alright, is there anything you can <laughs> tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. <coughs> are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that. Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! Oh dear. Everyone ready to fly? <laughs> Yeah. 
dragon. All three. Alright, several things of equipment. Amber garment. Garish pink. Town. Child of the Wild. doing hmm? probably keeping their eggs warm most likely they look like a mama and a papa penguins are monogamous faithful creatures they never leave their mate <sighs> isn't that romantic <coughs> so they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife but how do they make the eggs <gasps> that's <laughs> Well, <laughs> so Rocky said, that's an interesting fact. A single egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their <laughs> young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich pangan thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look <laughs> tasty, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> Crash through! 
Seventy again for the one in town. 